Pigglesworth, and welcome back to Alpha Craft. Here we are over in another mysterious, crazy location. A location you've not seen before, but there's a portal, there's some chests, and there's a sign right here that says Map Area Corner. I think that's what it says. It might say Maparia, but I'm, I could be wrong in that. <laughs> but if I stand right here and look, it looks like this is supposed to go that way. And this is supposed to go that way. And this area is supposed to be getting cleared out, it, it would appear. It would appear. So, um, yeah, this society thing, I still have not figured out what it is. I still cannot figure out what is going on. But I was contacted and I was told to, as an initiation, you need to come out to this area and you have a job to do. I've got something I'm supposed to do out here. I guess to prove myself? I don't know. <laughs> but this spot right here, this is approximately the center of the area that has to be cleared out. So what that means is, um, like whenever a player is playing, there's so many chunks. A chunk is 16 blocks by 16 blocks and then all the way to bedrock and all the way up to the sky. There's so many chunks that are around a player that's constantly running wherever I am. So like I'm moving... The chunks are moving with me that are loaded. The ones behind me, far off, are unloading so nothing can happen. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to build something right here at this central location. So while this area is being cleared out, this central chunk will stay loaded. And because this central chunk will stay loaded, what I build here will stay loaded and will keep running. And what I build here that's going to keep running is supposed to help with this area and somehow help me in my initiation process. The problem is it's like going into a timeshare, buying something, but not being allowed to see the property. You, you just, there's something itching at the back of you. It's like, I don't know. I don't know if I should be doing this. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? We get to build something cool with redstone and we get to chop down some trees and just clear out some land for, uh, you know, just some off camera work, something to do. You know, we're kind of we're kind of chomping at the bit to play Minecraft, but we don't quite have something in, uh, planned or we can't really record. Give us a little off camera work to be done. So, oh, stinker stinkers. See, that's the other thing. As I clear this out, maybe we can clear it out where we can see those little stinkers and we won't have to deal with them as well. But you know what? That is a perfect cue because see all this? This can be dealt with in a little bit. That middle sectional spot, that needs to be built first. So I have got a grocery list of things that I'm going to have to gather up and collect. But one thing that we need is some redstone components. And I heard that somebody has a redstone component. Uh, uh, shop in town right there in uh, in Spawn Central where we had that uh, that little raid fight from previous episode. So I'll tell you what I'm going to go ahead and run over there and start checking that shop and checking for some prices and if there's some reasonable prices we're going to do some shopping and then we're going to come back over here and start doing some building. So y'all just hang tight. I'm going to run over there and I'll meet you over at the shop. All right, everybody, figured I'd go for a nice evening stroll. I'm the only person on the server. Eight deaths. Eight. <laughs> that is right. But I figured we'd just run over here. I ran over to Alpha by Water. This is the first ender chest that I saw. I can't believe that there's no ender chests around here. Nobody has any in these stores. That would be a really good addition, everybody. Um, but over here, let's see, this is the first store. I was looking, this seems to be like lighting solutions and stuff like that. And what I really want is uh, the best, now featuring the best the nether has to offer. Monsters got you down. Light up with top quality lights. Let's see here. What do you sell? That is really weird. Whenever I click on these, it lets me eat a potato. So um, we'll scroll through here. Oh, that's all we got. Okay, I don't want that. What do you got? Glowstone. That's what I want. Now I need... Um, three times three is nine times two is 18. So I need 18 pieces of glowstone. It's a little, a little expensive, but I, you know what? We've got, we've got some. So let's see here. So we're gonna have to buy an in increments of three, which means we need to spend six diamonds. So if I put that there, now, how does it know that I want that? Did it just read my mind? That'll work. 24. Awesome. So we got 24 of those. Thank you so very, very much, Elanil. Elanil. 
in Alanil. <laughs> and whose shop is this? Um, it's the Paper Lantern. I'm not quite certain whose shop that is, but thank you very much for providing the glowstone. Maybe here? Uh, shop 2, the Paper Lantern. That's all it tells us. Now, KB's shop, Taylor shop. Let's see here, right here. Taylor made custom armor for the refined player. Mending. We're definitely going to need to get this. For the two pickaxes I've got, for certain we're going to need to come back and buy some mending books. I don't want to buy them right now because I don't want to accidentally have a little oops happen. And I ended up losing, you know, some diamonds and mending books. We're going to go ahead and run over here to this other thing. At first I didn't realize that there were two different builds with uh, shops in them. Uh-oh. Hello, Stanker. How you doing? No, no, no. Don't you... Don't you bow up on me. <laughs> you stay over there. Let's run in here. Now, this one's got auto shut on the door, which is awesome. So let's see here. Um, I think it's Avamance's uh, store that we want to go to. Is it on the second floor? I think it's up here. Not here. Here we go. This is what we're talking about. Avos components. Redstone like a boss. I'm telling you what. So let's go over here and look. And we are going to need some components. So I'm going to need... Some observers, which I don't really have nether quartz, so I'm willing to go ahead and buy the observers. But we're needing 18, and that's what stinkerish is. They come in 16 increments. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we're just going to go ahead and buy. So I guess I have to click that. Okay. No, 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 no. Don't you dare. Can, okay, we can do that. Whew. As I say, I don't want to spend all my diamonds on that. And I'm going to need some repeaters. Now, there's 32 repeaters, which is awesome. For three diamonds, that's a steal. We'll do that, and let's see. Um, I've, you know what? I've got, I've got iron and I've got wood, so we can make the hoppers. That's no big deal. And I really don't want to run all the way back to my house to uh, to get some more uh, redstone. So let's go go ahead and buy a block of redstone as well. No, just one. Stop taking all my diamonds. <laughs> So there we go. There we go. Thank you, Red Bob. We've done a little bit of shopping. Oh, look, we shopped the night away. Isn't that awesome? If only that's how the game worked, right? You could just shop until you drop. <laughs> but we're going to I'm going to take all this stuff. We're going to meet back over at the spot where we just started at. Is that skeleton? So you just hang out there, buddy. I don't have nothing to do with you. You just hang out. But I'm going to run back over to um, to that area with all these components and we're going to start constructing what it is we're supposed to be constructing as our i don't even know if this is an initiation this just might be step one make piggy do stuff for us we're going to find out i guess <laughs> but i'll jump through there and i'll meet you at the other spot <laughs> All right, everybody, we're over here building these booths. <laughs> That's a tricky word to say, B-O-O-T-H-S, booths. Well, we got these little guys over here making a bunch of racket, too. Come here, you. There and there. Keep making more babies. We're going to need a bunch of you. So I've got this little design that I came up with for a very simple um, type of, uh, what do you call it? Wool farm basically is what it is. Um, they finally added in uh, 114, I think it was, you've got this thing now where you can use, um, what are these? What are these things called? Droppers? Dispensers. I can never remember. I always get them mixed up. But you can use a dispenser to, um, to basically auto shear sheep, which is just awesome. So I came up with this real simple design that um, I'm pretty sure other people have come up with stuff very similar to this. Oh, no, you don't go there. We're going to put a repeater sticking out right here. I'm trying to use up coarse dirt on these spots right here because coarse dirt is not going to let me um, spread grass. That's only going to spread on regular dirt. So we, we need some grass over here. But I've got this observer is going to see whenever grass changes to dirt or back to grass. And that observer is going to send a pulse to the repeater that gets sent up to these uh, these dispensers. No, not that. Come here. <laughs> a dispenser. That's what it was. 
So I'm going to take that dispenser and we're going to put the dispenser right on top of it. And that dispenser is going to have that electricity or that, that power, not electricity, but the power is going to go through and it's going to shear the sheep that's inside. Now the tricky thing is trying to get it to where we can actually pull the wool through the ground. So what we're going to do is we're going to place this rail here and I need to make another mine cart. So we'll do that. You come here and put that there. Put a hopper there. That's going to give us a hopper mine cart that we'll place on that rail. And then we're going to break the rail underneath it. And that comes through there. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to place a regular piece of dirt right here. And we're going to do some little trickery. This is the real tricky part. Can you get the piston to point the right way? <laughs> That's always the tricky part for me. We'll just do that. That shoves the dirt over there. And then we'll do that. And now, I'll show you. If I throw something, look at that. It goes right through. That, that minecart hopper stays in the dirt. And it pulls the items right through and puts it in the chest. So as, uh, as the sheep are sheared, their little block of wool will land right there and get vacuumed right through there and um, be good to go. And then I went ahead and just used uh, trapdoors because trapdoors will allow they'll allow Piggy not to click on anything is what it is. Let's do this. This is so much easier. Nope. Get up here. <laughs> Piggy, do what I said because I said so. We'll go up here and do that. Trapdoors is going to keep the sheep from running away, and at the same time, it allows um, the the grass to spread through it for some reason. Um, I don't want to use, what do you call them? I don't want to use solid blocks because that won't let grass go through. I don't want to use fence posts because it, anything that's going to let an item drop on the ground outside or on the edge of this block could potentially keep it from getting pulled through the the hopper and into there. So by doing this, oh, no, nope, get up there. By doing this, I've created an area where, see if I toss something in there, it's going in that hopper uh, mine cart. So we'll be able to see the, the sheep's face sticking out and stuff, which is cool because we'll be able to know what colors they are and whatnot. But at the same time, whenever they get sheared, that wool block is going to get pulled through right there. So I got a few more of these to build. Yeah. <laughs> a few more because we got three colors we're going to need. And I was thinking maybe it would be good to have uh, six, six sheep for each color. So that would be 18 booths that I need to make. There's that tricky word again. Booths. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and build the rest of these. I'm going to breed up these sheep. And get most of them in here, sleep, and get that sun to behave. What we'll, what we'll do is we'll come back, and I'll show you how I get the sheep up inside these. And uh, we'll we'll check wool. Yes, wool. Check this thing out in action, making wool, which is awesome. So I'm gonna go sleep. If these little stinkers over here don't see me and don't start a raid, oh my gosh! You guys, you got to get away from the bed. <laughs> go patrol somewhere else. Piggy's bed is just fine. It's actually not Piggy's bed, but Piggy's bed in, in Alpha by Water is fine. It'd be nice if you could hire those guys. I'd like to send them on a patrol to go keep my house guarded. Good, they wandered off. So I'm going to take a nap, get the work done, and I'll meet you back over here. All right, little buddy, come on. Come on. Well, I tell you what, these things can be very frustrating to work with. Now, if you've got baby sheep... So much easier to manipulate and move around in these little booths. But if you've got the adults, I mean, there's a way to do it. It's just a little more cantankerous. So I'm going to lead them up there. If I can get them to drop down, just a little bit more. Come on. Not too much. We don't want you to... No, no, no. See, you don't want them to rock it off the edge. But if you can get them to set right there, you can kind of do that. Get the edges up. Oh, nope. See, and sometimes that happens. So if that happens, we're just going to... Come on, you. Come on, cooperate. Come on. <laughs> now, you can imagine if it was a little baby, it would just drop right down in there so much easier. But for some reason, reason their, their hitbox is just a little wonky crazy. Are you going to fall down in there for me? No. No. You've got to drop down in there. <laughs> 
I kid you not, the moment I hit record, it becomes so much more difficult. That might be it. Nope. You? I'm going to have to nickname you Stubborn. There we go. And then I'll just right-click the sheep, and that made it drop the, uh, the lead, and it went right down in there, which is awesome. So, we have uh, three sheep that are blue, three sheep that are, or four sheep that are white, and I'm going to do one sheep that, or three sheep that are red. So, one. Oh, no. Those little stinkers, they, they like, make you sit down. No, 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 no. <laughs> there. Oh, my gosh. Die the sheep already. Thank you. And then one more. Whoop. I guess they have to have wool. Would one of you please have wool? Three bags full? That would be great. I'm going to say I have to sit here now and wait till one of them gets, uh, <laughs> get some wool. You know what we could do? Let's break that redstone. Come on, you. You're going to eat something, and then I'm going to be able to dye you red, and then we will have uh, uh, all the colors. Well, I guess we have to wait for the grass to spread, but I'll do that. I'm going to sit here for a minute. But what I've done is I've gone around and fenced this whole area in, so this whole area is safe from any mobs getting over here and, like, blowing stuff up or hurting any of the, the sheep. I've got a little safety bed. I'm going to pick up all this junk and relocate it, but we've got a nice little spot. Now, I know I said I was going to do 18, but um, what is this? One, two, three, four, five. This is ten. Okay. That took a lot of work. I've been here for like an hour, an hour and a half trying to do all this. So we got some wool here. We got wool there. We got wool there. You know what else I need to do while we're waiting for that sheep? Um, let's go ahead and start dumping a bunch of this junk in here. Like I said, we're going to move all this stuff here in just a minute. But I need... Some more iron. Because now we're going to need to make a plethora. Would you say that I have a plethora of shears? And I love how I can just walk away and it puts the stuff back in my inventory. So we can see this guy didn't get sheared because there are no uh, shears in there. There we go. Okay, so that one's full. That one's looking good. That one's looking good. I think all the rest of these are doing pretty good, so I'm just going to leave leave these here shears. We'll put a little chest here, like a little ch uh, uh, crafting bench and a chest with a bunch of iron in it so we can replenish our, our shears as we need to. But I'm going to go ahead and get that other sheep dyed red, get myself slept and safe, and then we've got a little bit more work to do. Let's go ahead and close... Oh. Yep, I got fence posts to build, all kinds of stuff. And then we've got some clearing. We're going to see how much of this clearing that we can get done. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and sleep. I'll bring you back, and we're going to show you some more, more progress. All right, everybody. About 50 iron axes later. Looky what we got here. Spruce wood. Spruce wood. Spruce wood. <laughs> and then we've got some leaves in here. Yeah, buddy. And then a bunch of random stuff. Stuff. Well, I got to the point where I got so many of these. I'm like, all right, you know, we could bone meal one of these. Plant one on the ground, bone meal it double high, and then hit it with some shears if we want to start making more. So I kind of gave up. Did make sure to get these dead bushes because those, as far as I know, there's no way to craft those or anything. You find those naturally, and that's all there is. There's no more. But but check this out. It's empty. <laughs> it's all clear. Oh, clear. Look at this. Every, uh, all four corners, it's completely cleared out, which is just super awesome. And let's run over here. Let's see how much wool we've gathered in this. Now, this has been a couple of days. I've done a couple of days work here. Let's see, what do we got going? There's seven more here. Now, I know it doesn't look like a lot, but trust me, I've come through. I've cleaned this thing out several times. So, it, you know, it's been working. Just wait. I'll show you how much is in the uh, the master chest with all this stuff right here. Looky there. Looky there. We got a fair amount of wool going. Ooh, there was a whole bunch more white apparently than uh, uh, than the other colors. Okay, cool. Yes. Awesome. So task accomplished. I hope I, I've passed the initiation 
uh, procedures. Now, it was really weird. Uh-oh, there's one bush over here. Do you see that? I had to mow the lawn in real life, and then to come over to Minecraft and mow the lawn. It's like, can't get away from my chores. <laughs> But the whole time I was over here, um, you know, doing all this stuff, uh, a couple times I saw Spiderweb Ninja come over here. She was helping chop down trees, too. I wonder if she knows about the initiation. I don't know. <coughs> but you can see it's all clear. It's all completely clear and opened up. So I guess whatever map or whatever's supposed to get put over here, we'll just, I guess we'll eventually find out about that. But yeah, like I said, task has been accepted and completed and maybe we can find out that this timeshare will be worth it now if not i might have to go through you know hire that lawyer to get the timeshare thing that you know the guy you hear on the radio all the time call me and i'll help you get out of your timeshare oh there's another one see that shrub right there boy oh boy i'm about to run out of food too or my hunger bar is about to drop and i don't have any more food i ate my last morsel i do have some wood over here and i do have some mushrooms so i might just have to stop and make myself some mushroom uh mushroom stew but now that we've got this area finished and completed we can move on to other tasks and i think that's what i'm gonna do let's see here okay that's that stuff i got all this stuff and all this stuff how's that really awesome uh diamond pickaxe that we got given to us and that totem of undying we got that uh i think it was last episode from killing off those uh uh, those those raids that was over in Spawn Town, but yeah, I'm gonna need to pack up all this stuff and move it back over to the uh, the mountain areas where I got my base going, and then hopefully maybe someday this will all make sense. Maybe we'll find out finally what's going on with this initiation process. We got to build a really cool uh, sheep farm in the process, though. That was kind of cool. I like impromptu redstone. That can be really fun. But if you enjoyed this episode, please click that like button, and if you want to see more of these as I release them, and you're not already subscribed, what are you doing? What are you doing? You're watching the channel, but you're not subscribed? Well, maybe you're just testing it out. You're seeing if you like it. If you do, go ahead and subscribe. And if you want to wrestle with YouTube, if you like wrestling, <laughs> click the notification bell. Ding, ding, ding. Let the fight begin. We'll see if you get your notifications or not. Maybe YouTube will be in a good mood this week, and they'll let you know when new videos come out. But I'm going to go ahead and pack up all this stuff, get myself some mushroom stew so I don't completely pass out from exhaustion get myself ready for next episode and that is when i hope to see you is in the next episode of alpha craft <laughs>